Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Guitar of the Day. I'm your host, Michael Lemo, and today is a Flat Top Friday. And I have to say, this is one of my favorite flat tops of this year of doing Guitar of the Day, and we're almost at the end of the year. That is insane, but we're ready for this year to be over. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. All right, there's a positive thing there. <laughs> but um, this guitar um, was, came out in 1942, which is a pretty crazy year, um, right around that, that World War II era. So let's check it out. Uh, really beautiful. So this is a 1942 Gibson J35 wow. in TV yellow. I didn't even know they did that with the acoustics. That is just so cool. It's kind of got the Gen vibe. It does. I love it. Um, I love the top. Yeah, really, really cool. Uh, TV yellow, once again, was supposed to stand out on black and white television. It just popped a little bit more than the traditional sunburst finish. Um, I think you would kind of lose pieces of the guitar on the TV because of the contrast. Um, but this is a predecessor to the J45 and the J50. Um, and one of the last uh, J35s that they did the TV yellow top with. Um, you have a spruce top and it's mahogany back and sides. Pretty, pretty beautiful. But this one, somebody definitely played it um, because it plays so great. Um, I, never, I always find this kind of as like a... I don't know. It, it, it says a lot that the guitar was a great player and still is. Um, it's kind of like a badge of honor almost to see a little of this wear, in my opinion, because there's a reason why somebody played it so much. Um, got some wear here too as well. Somebody was going crazy. But this is a real working man guitar. It, it just, you, you strum it right away and you get this big punch. But it also has that great current. Great finger picking sound. Uh, it's a rosewood board, rosewood bridge. I love these pick guards that Gibson did. Um, kind of has that tiger feel. Um, but yeah, this is a great guitar. Um, I tried learning Blackbird a little bit, um, and I have to say, every Beatles piece I learn is such a challenge. I, I, I suggest to everybody, if you need to push yourself, try to learn the melodies and the chord changes at the same time. Blackbird, uh, Blackbird obviously is already laid out for you, but it's right there with classical music, a lot of it. It's, it's really, I played it and I reminded me of a lot of pieces I play that by Beethoven or uh, Debussy or uh, West Montgomery. So uh, we're gonna take it out front, see what we can do and do a little medley. But this is a really, really cool guitar and I'm very excited to play it. Let's take it out front. Let's go. Cool. All right, we're out front with the 1942 Gibson J35 and this guitar sounds incredible. Really cool top and I love the neck. Uh, we're gonna start off a uh, little finger picking. Let's check it out.
there you have it. Your 1942 Gibson J35. Like I said, sounds incredible. I love it so much. One of the more special flat tops we've had. Um, yeah, one of my favorites this year. Um, so check out the, all these guitars at normanjarayguitars.com. And also on Instagram and Facebook, I'm your host, Michael Lemo. We'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye.